I do welcome the students of honors fourth year of Government Rajendra College. In my lecture, I am going to focus on Pride and Prejudice written by Jane Austen. Pride and Prejudice was written in the year 1813 and the previous name of this particular novel was First Impression. Later on, its name was changed. In this novel, prior to going into detail, I would like to mention that this, can, uh, this is a sort of romantic novel and romantic age in English literature is predominantly an age in which you can notice the development of poetry. But Jane Austen was a novelist and during Romantic era, she played a very significant role by composing a play which became familiar all over the world and it had an appeal in the minds of the people who deal with English literature or who are literary enthusiasts. This novel has made an appeal and the appeal still persists today. Since this particular novel has been incorporated in your syllabus, you will have to have a closer look at it. Bennett family, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett are husband and wife and they had five marriageable daughters and you will have to become familiar with the names of all the five daughters. Jane is the eldest one. Elizabeth is the second daughter. And Kitty, Mary, Mary, Kitty and Lydia are the remaining three daughters. And it is the heartfelt desire of Mrs. Bennet to see all the five daughters married of married up to suitable husbands. She remains preoccupied and another reason of her being so much worried or so much worried or so much anxious is that after the death of Mr. Bennett, the family property will be inherited by another individual since Mr. Bennett and Mrs. Bennett do not have any male heir. So due to lack of male inheritor or male heir, the property will be grasped by another individual. So Mrs. Bennett is very much preoccupied with the thought that her daughters will have to be married up at the earliest will have to be married up and suitable husbands will have to be found out. Having heard that Mr. Bingley has taken his residence in the neighborhood in the Netherfield par Parks, she becomes very much enthusiastic. At one stage, we notice the, in, the, in the play, at one stage in the play, we notice a ball party and at ball, at the ball, Mr. Bingley shows keen interest in Jen. As I mentioned earlier, Jen is the eldest daughter of the Bennett family. And another male protagonist, he can be regarded as the protagonist of the play. Male protagonist is Mr. Darcy. His full name is Fitzwilliam Darcy. And in brief, we can call him Mr. Darcy. And the heroine of the novel is Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the second daughter of the Bennett family. And at the ball, we notice a sort of amorous development between Mr. Bingley and Jen. On the other hand, we will notice that Bingley's friend Mr. Darcy is showing a sort of apathetic attitude towards Jen. You will also have to evaluate the 
significance of the title Pride and Prejudice. The two central characters are two protagonists, the male protagonist Mr. Darcy and the female protagonist Elizabeth. Both have developed pride and prejudice. Mr. Darcy is very much proud of his rich family background, of his wealth, of his affluence and he shows prejudice towards Elizabeth since he thinks Elizabeth to be socially inferior and in case of Elizabeth you will notice that she is very much proud of her self-esteem, self-respect and she has developed prejudice against Darcy for his snobbishness. In course of time you will notice some ups and downs, you will notice transformations and changes in the mentality of both these characters. In Pride and Prejudice you will notice that at the end of the play, towards the end of the play, the previous conception of both Darcy and Elizabeth undergo, previous perceptions undergo a great deal of change. Elizabeth starts to develop a liking for Darcy. In the same manner, Darcy develops a sort of tender feeling, a sort of positive attitude towards Elizabeth. Elizabeth was under the notion that Darcy stood as a wall. Darcy uh, Elizabeth was of the view that uh, Darcy played a part in bringing about negative development between the uh, two characters called Mr. Bingley and Jane. But his notion is removed later on when he notices that Darcy played a sort of role which encouraged the development of relationship between Jen and Bingley, so to say, uh, in the light of the description of the novel, probably such an estimate can be found. And at one stage, Elizabeth developed a sort of liking for her friend uh, Wickham, but he comes to know that from the from the version of Mr. Jarcy, he comes to know that Wickham uh, squandered the wealth. So uh, it is not Wickham probably a particular character, a particular character with whom Elizabeth developed a sort of relationship. But finally, it is noticed that Darcy was not responsible. Rather, this character squandered the money of Darcy. So the misunderstandings, the prevailing misunderstandings between these two characters comes to an end. Mis the misunderstandings come to an end and they get reconciled. A sort of understanding is established between them and thereby a sort of reunion can be noticed between Elizabeth and Darcy. So the previous pride and prejudice of these characters come to an end and if we shift our focus on the mentality of the present mental condition of Mrs. Bennet, as I mentioned earlier, you will be able to understand that such a development is undoubtedly a sort of pleasing feelings, a sort of soothing feelings to the mother of Elizabeth. So if we evaluate from a broader perspective, you will notice that there are some problems 
there are the problems of pride the problems of social stratification the problem of superiority complex inferiority complex and a variety of factors but if you try to understand this novel from superficial point of view or from profundity of thought or if you want to make an in-depth realization of the novel you will notice that it can be termed as a sort of the picture depicted by Jane Austen which was prevalent during the social phenomenon of that particular period and if you want to understand the reason behind the popularity of such a novel you will be able to understand that in this novel Jen Austen has made endeavor to present the characters in a very vibrant way it has made appeal in the minds of a number of readers and the turn of events several turn of events which you come across in the course of your reading I think that you will be able to understand the sound reasoning sound understanding of the novelist about several characters their mentality and the manifestation of their inner feelings have found way in the novel to a large extent dear students i'm not going to lengthen or elongate or elaborate my speech today with these few words i would like to wrap up today's session thanks a lot see you again